Hello YouTube, Joey here from Team Brain Infinity, bringing you guys an updated Star Dragon World decklist. This is a bit different than the decklist you guys have seen in the match videos, or game videos actually, of Star Dragon World against 100, or not 100 enemies, uh, dungeon enemies, and Star Dragon World against wizards. This is the, this is still the enemy based variant that I've been testing for about a week and a half, weeks or so. And it's a really fun variant, I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than the defensive variant right now, maybe because I'm too used to the defensive variant. Or I just really got used to this again. But this is the variant I'm testing. And I want to see if I can make good or better than what I think it is or was. I don't, I don't know what tends to use. But, um, yeah. So, let's jump straight into the list. Because it's got a lot of changes since the defensive variant. So, the flag stays the same because Star Dragon World. And our buddy is Star Guardian Jackknife. Now that I got five of them. 5,000 power, 3 critical, 6,000 defense. He has a gauge to call him. At, he costs a gauge to call him in his call cost. And he has the first ability of when this card runs to the field, if pick one monster in your drop zone, put it into the soul. And he has soul guard. So he's really good because he lets you manually set up the dragon arms in your, in your drop zone into his soul, which is really useful. And then he just has good stats all together. So, size 1. 2, dragon arms win Chesker. This is the first dragon arms we're playing. And he is a 3,000 power, 2 critical, 1,000 defense monster. He has cross eyes, just like all other dragon arms. And cross eyes is a generic ability among dragon arms that lets you put it into the soul of the Neo Dragon if it's on the field, including if both this and the Neo Dragon are on the field. And then he has the ability of if this card is in the soul of the Neo Dragon, that Neo Dragon would deal damage to your opponent. That you can destroy an item on your opponent's side of the field. So it's really useful, breaks items down, hurts a lot of worlds, especially in an item-based melee like we have now. So, really useful. Two, Dragon Arms Cavalier, 4-2-1, and if he's in the soul of Neo Dragon, he gives a penetrate. I'm not going to say cross eyes for every single one because that would just get repetitive and boring. Three copies of Dragon Arms Vogel because Vogel is probably the most important Dragon Arms in the deck. It allows you to maintain good offense and defense. And he has the same stats as Cavalier, which are actually pretty decent stats for these cards. So, 4 2 1. If he's in Token Neo Dragon, that Neo Dragon gains move, which is why it provides good defense. And then the last size one, we play four copies of Rainbow Vision Shadow Scare. He's a 6 2 1 Neo Dragon Vanilla, and you play him for beat beatdown because 6,000 power is actually really important in this deck. It makes a lot. It makes a big difference, and I wish Jack had 6k. So that's it for the size ones. We play a total of 11 size ones. For size twos, play two Dragon Arms Elder Cannon, um, four two five stats, and if this card's in the soul of Neo Dragon, that Neo Dragon gain plus 2,000 power and an extra critical. That extra power makes a big difference since it allows Jack to hit a lot of things, since that's what you're primarily playing in the soul of. Occasionally, you'll put in the soul of Elder Cannon, but that's about it. And the critical just helps you get more damage out. So, yeah. That's why I play that. Uh, play two copies of Demon Blaze Maxwell, 634. He has two gauge call cost. One, this card enters the field. Destroy a size two or less monster on your opponent's side of the field. And he has Soul Guard. So, basically, you're playing for removal, power crit, and all that beautiful stuff. Actually, wait, what am I doing? This should stay out. Um, continuing on. Play three copies of Photon Crown Gia Corona. He is a 525, and when he enters the field, you may put the top card of your deck into the soul, or not soul, gauge. And I believe that is mandatory. Yeah, it is a mandatory effect. And then the last size 2 monster is my buddy, Star Guardian Jackknife, which I already went over, so yeah, just gonna show those. So I play 11 size 2s. So good numbers, good numbers. Especially since this is a rush deck, you wanna have a good amount of monsters. Maybe I'm going a bit over the top, but who knows. Um, size 3s, 1 5th Omni Dragon Lord Tembu, 636, has 2 gauge call cost. Omni Lord ability, where you can play one of it in a world except its original world, which is Dragon World. And he has the ability of when this card enters the field, destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. So he's really good in this deck because this is a rush deck, so you want to be able to deal damage fast. So I'm, especially for the type of player I am, he gets rid of monsters, and that's just a big deal because I think monsters are just some of the most important resources in the game. And game rate them like that is just too important. And then we play three copies of Cosmic Storm Greason, ZK. This card is absolutely ridiculous at 927. He has a three gauge call cost. And within that three gauge, you also look at the top three cards of your deck and put one card in those three cards to the solo, the others go to the drop. So that's really useful, which allows you to attempt to try and get any of your four dragon arms, Elgar Can, Vogel, 
Winchester or Cavalier. And he also has Soul Garden Double Attack. So very useful. Four size twos, making a total of 26 monsters, 11 size ones, 11 size twos, and four size threes. Now for spells. Two Planet Memories. This is basically a Dragonic Grimoire clone, so if you have five less life, drop your entire hand, draw three. Really useful. Three Speculate Ring. Uh, I'm focusing a lot less on defense in this variant and just going for offense and game, so three of these, draw one energy clone. A Neo Dragon in battle gains plus 3,000, plus 3,000. Um, three Sudden Wormhole. This card has one gauge co cast cost, and it has two effects. The first one is you may pick a size, size two or less monster in your drop zone and call it by paying its call cost. And it has a counter skill, which is call a size one or less monster from your hand by paying its cast cost. Which is actually a pretty big deal. Because the counter can make a big difference whether you're protecting yourself from penetrates or whatever, or you're just going for game. And calling something back from the drops is just ridiculous. That's why we play three. And then we play four copies of Barrett called Barrett. This is the same crossbow for a gauge, destroys any monster with 3,000 or less defense, and it's counter. Then we have four earth barriers. Uh, Mill cast this card if you are being attacked, and you are being attacked means you, the player, being attacked directly. And counters nullify the attack and gain a life. And then we play four proto bears with the same condition of you have to be attacked directly. And counter put top every deck into the gauge and nullify the attack. So it gives you a gauge instead of a life. Eight nulls, because eight nulls, so 20 spells. Or 18 spells, something like that. I don't know. 26 monsters. And then we go here. Two, five, eight, twenty. 20. 46 cards so far. Uh, four asteroids, five three weapon, pay gauge and a life to equip. Really useful. Just damage output and weapon. And two radiant punisher because impact. Um, melee cast this card if both of you and your opponent have an open center and you have size two or less than, size two or greater near dragon on your side of the field. Cast cost pay three gauge and a life and deal four damage. That damage cannot be reduced or nullified. So just being able to get a bunch of damage in there helps, and that's why we play that. Now, I actually didn't realize this card was 52 card. This deck was 52 cards, but whatever. Four items, two impacts, 20 spells, 40, 26 monsters. So now for the extra side deck, whatever you want to call it. Um, two Dragon Arms or Tailiger. He is a 2-1-2, and he has the ability of one of those cards in the Soul of Neo Dragon during... With this card in the Soul of your Neo Dragon, nullify all abilities of an originally sized two or less monster that is in battle with the Neo Dragon. And this ability cannot be nullified. So basically this includes counterattack, penetrate, soul guard, etc. Really useful. It just nullifies all those things from size two or less monsters, and that's a pretty big part of the game. Um, two Dragon Arms to Visigator. He is a 315 Dragon Arms, and he's size 1, artillery is size 0. Forgot to mention that. And if this card is in the Soul of a Neo Dragon, that Neo Dragon get Gains plus 2,000 defense, which helps a lot against certain matchups. And then three copies of Star Guardian Jackknife Full Burst. I decided to throw Full Burst in as a three of instead of a four of, like my old Rush variant, because honestly, you only need about two or three game uh, against certain decks, and very few at that if you really need it. He has a two gauge and select a card and put into this card's so whole call cost. He has the counter act ability of pay one life, and if you do, destroy a size wireless monster on your opponent's side of the field. He has penetrate, and he has soul guard. He has 7,000 power, 2 critical, 6,000 defense, and he's a size 3, so it's a really good card. And then the last card in the sideboard is Shining Rain, our pseudo spell. Pay gauge and life to cast it, and it has the counter to nullify the spell, and nullify the spell that your opponent casts. And it, it may only be cast down your opponent's turn. So that's it for the sideboard. These I usually use against the mirror match, and that's about it. These dungeon and any other weenie decks. This I use against dungeon and any other weenie decks. Same thing. And this is just like ancient nine uh, in magic. That's about it. So that's it for the deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more Bitey Fight content. Check out our other Bitey Fight videos. And if you guys see an ad. If you guys like, click it. If you don't, don't. Thanks for watching. Joy from Team Burning Infinity signing out. Peace.